Right, okay. Hello, YouTube. This is DVT Game Show. Episode 27, part 3. Now, if you haven't watched part 1 or 2 yet, if you've missed quite a bit, so I suggest you watch those before you watch this one. Now, I've almost finished reviewing this game, so let's finish off. Now, I'm just explaining the bad about the game. I've already covered the confusing skills list and the um, grading system in part 2. So now I'm going to tell you about the last bad thing about this game. The last bad thing about this game is the um, special book. Now the special book is kind of like the extras menu where you can look, unlock and look at certain things. Now there's several things to unlock. Quite a lot of these are pictures and illustrations and that sort of stuff. There's even a picture in here where with the um, game the uh, with the game called Sonic, you know, picture of the game's title when it was called Sonic Wildfire, which is pretty cool. Yeah, there's loads and loads of pictures of the character and all that sort of stuff. But the biggest problem with this um, special book is, is chapter is chapter fifteen. It's chapter fifteen of the um, book. It gives you the selection of um, missions and tasks to do and. To me, mission and task, the description that they give you of what you need to do is extremely confusing. Like this one, check the altar. What the heck is that supposed to mean? In chapter 15, it's extremely confusing and it's very difficult to figure out what you need to do to unlock these extras. Most of the extras are quite good, but some of them are a bit to unlock. Some of you may have to collect a gold medal in a certain mission, but they don't tell you which me which mission until not go which mission you have to get a gold medal in. So I guess you just have to get a gold medal in every mission, and you unlock a certain picture after yes after a certain gold medal. But there could be a bit more descriptive with these um, hints to unlock certain things. So the special book isn't, is kind of annoying with the way that you unlock stuff and the way it explains how to unlock it. Anyway, that's basically all I can say about the game, so let's go to a rating. <coughs> okay. The rating for Sonic and Sacred Rings, I give this game a 3.5 out of five. It's a pretty good Sonic game and I it's definitely a lot better than Sonic the Hedgehog on the Xbox 360. And I definitely suggest you pick it up. You probably won't be disappointed by it. My my next review won't be a game. And instead I'm going to review the Nintendo Wii console itself and um give you my opinion and my view on how on the good points and the bad points of this of this machine. So be sure to tune in for that. But until then you two bye bye.